All right, get keen for some analysis because there's going to be some really deep ideas in this extract. In the first line, we already have some characterization of uh, Frank as a caring male companion of Evelyn because he sees her back home every evening. Now that that's not re now that's not really a literary element, but it's still characterization. Cool. He took her to see the Bohemian Girl, so I'm guessing that's some theatrical play, and she felt elated. That's good diction there. Elated as she sat in an unaccustomed part of the theater with him. So elated, that suggests complete excitement and enthusiasm. So the tone here is already kicking off as being quite positive. And why is she elated? Simply because she is sitting in an, in an unaccustomed part of the theater, a place where she normally doesn't sit. And so this is novelty. This sense of novelty and excitement characterizes Evelyn as an impressionable young woman who is easily influenced by little things like this, just sitting in a different place in the theater than she usually does with, uh, with Frank, with old Frank here. Cool, so that characterizes Evelyn, call her E, as an impressionable young woman. Good. What else do we have? Um, he was awfully fond of music. Now that's sort of like a figure of speech. People say that as a common saying, and but also it's a it's an oxymoron, isn't it? Because awfully that's negative, versus fond that's positive. So that's an oxymoron that we could talk about, and that just contributes to the overall um, playful nature of this atmosphere at the beginning. So it's just positive vibes at the start here. Romance and love, everything's going great. What else do we have? We also have this mentioning of theatre and sang, and also music. Where is music? Music right there. Cool. So why is this significant? Well, theatre, that's a form of performance, and music, that's also a form of um, performance, and both are stimulating, right? So by talking about, uh, by, by, so Joyce frames the relationship of Evelyn and Frank within this sort of theatrical performance related stimulating um, background, that makes the atmosphere more exciting as well. It just introduces more energy and excitement. Cool. Now people knew that they were courting, um, okay, she always felt pleasantly confused. Cool, that's also uh, positive, and it's also an oxymoron at the same time, right? Because pleasantly, that's good, and the confused is slightly negative, so that's an oxymoron, pleasantly confused, and it's also a figure of speech as well, people say that often. So what this does, perhaps, is it doesn't just contribute to the playful atmosphere, maybe it also shows how, um, just specifically for the pleasantly confused, that shows how Evelyn is again a bit of a naive, uh, impressionable young woman. So I'll add naive to that. He used to call her Poppins out of fun, so that's a nickname, cool, out of fun, contributing to the positive atmosphere fun atmosphere. First of all, it had been an excitement for her to have a fellow, and then she had begun to like him. So here we get a sense of the development of the love and the romance. Started off to just be excitement, now she actually sort of seriously likes him. Cool. Um, so what we've seen so far is a lot of emotional language to construct this um, this emotional, affectionate, enchanted tone, almost. And that, that enchanted tone, we'll talk about it in a second, because it has to do with the listing of lots of different exotic places. So I'll just circle, well, I'll, I'll just, so I'll just highlight all these, uh, so I'll just highlight all the emotional language that we see. Fond, um, pleasantly, elated, ex excitement, good. So that is, all of this stuff is emotional diction. And that contributes to that emotional tone and the romance that we feel, the romance that's in the air at the moment. Now, I also mentioned how Frank seems to be a really sort of exotic guy. Um, he, he's also adventurous. He goes to all these places, 
He has tales of distant countries. So this is the use of listing as a technique now. Listing. List Canada, um, Patagonians, so it seems some weird things. Strait of Magellan. This place. Where else do we have? Um, holiday, I guess holiday has connotations of being exciting and fun as well. Cool, so the listing of all of these different places, Canada and all these places, that portrays how exciting this person is and fills the air with the same sort of enchanted tone, which reflects Eveline's similar attitude towards Frank. She is enchanted by this amazing sailor who runs around the planet and has a lot of fun. The affectionate relationship is also constructed by the use of Poppins as a nickname. So in the next part, we have the father 